Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Well folks, here it is. That time of the week you've been looking forward to. It's hunting for horror time. Hooray! And uh, yeah, we got some good stuff here today. Got one good thing that came in the mail and uh, pretty much, well two things good that came in the mail. The rest of it all pretty much came from good old Zia Records. I tried hitting up the pawn shops and everything else and yeah, didn't have a whole lot of luck with that. But uh, yeah, I came across some um, Came across good old Zia Records, and they had a bunch of DVDs they were trying to get rid of for a dollar. So I found some good stuff. So, uh, also, too, like always, uh, stay tuned for the end of the episode, where I'll reveal the winners of uh, this week's digital codes. The movies are Interstellar and um, A Quiet Place. So I'll be re I'll be letting you know who won those at the end of the video. And uh, the uh, if you're curious... Uh, if you want to enter for the codes for next week, the two movies we got up are going to be Fantastic Four and The Hateful Eight. So Fantastic Four and The Hateful Eight. If anybody watches this video, if you're interested in those, if you want to try to win, let me know in the comment section down below. I can't, you know, you can't win if you don't enter. So, you know, let me know that, you know, you know enter in the comment section down below. Let me know which ones you want because, you know, Anyway, let's go ahead. We'll get started. <clears throat> so, yeah, this here I got in the mail. Not exactly a horror movie, but it's got horror elements to it. And, uh, yeah, first 4K I bought in a while, to be honest with you. So, glad to have it. We have Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. This beautiful box set. I really like this. This looks really good. Yeah. I imagine everybody's probably showing this off. Actually, this wasn't supposed to come out until next week, but... For whatever reason, uh, Amazon decided to ship it out early, So, but I'm not going to complain. It's nice to have it. But, yeah, I do. I like this movie. You've already, I'm sure if you know, you're a subscriber of my channel, you've seen that I've done a video talking about this movie and, you know, the Manson influence and stuff like that. And uh, the movie doesn't have as much, um, you know, I talked about in my video how this movie really was suspenseful and, and I felt so much dread watching this because... You know, knowing true crime history and knowing Hollywood history and things like that, that uh, I wasn't sure if this movie was going to hold up. But yeah, it sure does. It's still pretty frightening. Still a good flick. So anyway, so there's the back. And yeah, this is beautiful box set here. Beautiful illustrations. And uh, so, yeah, so you open it up inside. There we go. We got the 45 record that's got a couple of songs from the movie. You got the uh, the phony Mad Magazine from supposed to be you know making a joke about the movie. The poster I've already hung it up on my wall. So, but uh, yeah, and we got the two discs, the Blu-ray and the 4K. So anyway, yeah, I really like this. It's a good edition to have. So yeah, really nice, good collectible. So anyway, there you go. So we have Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Now we got uh, four, or yeah, it looks like four non-horror titles, so we'll get through those pretty quick. This one here, I've been kind of curious to see it. Uh, it's called About Cherry for a dollar. Uh, it's supposed to be about a girl who I believe she gets into doing porn and uh, things go awry. So yeah, so kind of curious about that one. Um, it's got oh Heather Graham. It's got Heather Graham in it. So yeah, there you go. Heather Graham's one of those women is like, you know, I always thought she was gorgeous. And to me, she's one of those women. She just gets prettier with age. So this one here is uh, like a romantic comedy kind of sex movie. I don't know. But I remember watching it when I was younger and I remember liking it. I just want to see if uh, I may not even hold on to this. I may watch it and be like, yeah, this movie doesn't hold up for me the way it did. But it's called The Rachel Papers. I know it says $4.99, but actually I only paid a dollar for it. So. Anyway, yeah. Like I said, I remember seeing this when I was younger. I, I remember liking it. I just need to see if it holds up or not. I don't know. We'll find out what happens. So. Anyway, so there's that. This one here. I gotta be honest with you. I got this because originally the idea was I was going to review this from my old channel, Cinema 77 Horror Call Film Lover. I may not be doing that now because uh, YouTube is taking some videos off of my channel. So I'm not sure it's like kind of right now at this point, I probably still will, but 
kind of at this point right now, I don't, I just didn't even feel like, you know, should I even bother with that anymore? YouTube's just going to pull those. So but anyway, though, this movie is called The Ranch, uncut and unrated. Again, only paid a dollar for it. So, yeah. It's sensational. Like I said, I don't know. I may not even keep this anymore. So, the, the idea, like I said originally, was going to be I was going to review it on my old channel until I found out YouTube's pulled some videos off of that channel. So, I don't know. But we'll see. Anyway, so there's that. And, uh,. Yeah, the last uh, non-horror title we got here is, uh, I know everybody says this show has been on TV way too long, and everybody thinks it sucks, and it's boring, it's not funny anymore, but I'm weird. You guys already know that. You watch any of my videos, you already know I'm weird, but um, yeah, I still happen to think this show is funny, and I still want to get all the seasons, and that is The Simpsons Season 19. I've always been a Simpsons fan, I've been ever since I was a little kid, I still enjoy the simpsons i know a lot of people don't anymore i know a lot of people think the simpsons it's long since run its course and people are saying yo you know because there was a rumor supposedly danny elfman was saying that uh you know, it was danny elfman or it was um elf claus and one of the two was supposed to be saying that the show is going to be coming to an end and supposedly they're like no the simpsons is still going strong but uh i remember when it when it was first announced they were talking about oh the simpsons is going to end after season 31 and a lot of people, oh, thank God, good riddance. The show sucked for so long and everything. I don't feel that way. I still enjoy the show. I still get a kick out of it. So I don't I'm one of those few I'm one of those few weirdos. What can I say? The show still appeals to me. I don't know what else to tell you. I still love it. So so yeah. So season 19 of The Simpsons for me, that's a no-brainer. <clears throat> anyway, so now we're gonna start getting into the horror type stuff. And this is kind of horror light, but it was only $1.99. And I hadn't seen it. I've heard some things. You know, it might not be too bad, but I finally got Hansel and Gretel, Witch Hunters, the unrated edition. As you can see, they're only pay $1.99 for it. So I don't know. This might be good. It might be terrible. I don't know. We'll see. I'll check it out. If I like it, I'll keep it. If not, I'll trade it in and get something else. But for now, it's just... Hang on to that, see if it's any good or not. So, but I figured dollar ninety nine. I can't cry about that. So, okay, this here I got pretty much next to nothing, and uh, I got this because even though yeah, you guys already know I got Halloween, I got the Halloween movies and stuff. But this one here I didn't have, and I believe this is the theatrical edition of both versions. We have Rob Zombie's Halloween one and two, and like I said, I think this is. I know it's a theatrical edition of Halloween 2, but I believe it's supposed to be the uh, the theatrical edition of Halloween 1. Now, normally I'd be like, I wouldn't even bother with a theatrical edition. I'd go for the director's cut, but considering that um, in this case, the, you know, the theatrical cuts are significantly different from, you know, the director's cuts. That's why when I saw this, I was like, I'm going to go ahead and jump on this, you know, it's like, so that way, you know, if anybody asks, I can say, yeah, I got the, like everybody else, I got the you know, theatrical cuts too. So, um, I do remember that the, uh, the scene in the first Halloween movie, I haven't seen the theatrical cut of Halloween too, but, uh, the, uh, theatrical cut of Halloween. I remember the, the escape scene from the asylum is a lot different. So no rape in other words, but anyway, like I said, I saw that for a good cheap price. I figured I'll go ahead and jump on that. See what, see if it's any good. Okay. This one here, I got, Pretty cheap price for this one, uh, so I'm glad to have it. We got the possession of Hannah Mitchell. Not that you could tell because of all the, the stickers on there, but you know, uh, did I say Hannah Mitchell? The possession of Hannah Grace. For hell's sake, man! I'm sorry, man. I don't know. Uh, it must be too late at night or too early in the morning, one or the other. But uh, yeah. So anyway, so you can see I got that for a marked off price. And so, yeah. I've heard things about this, heard this one's pretty good, but I haven't seen it yet, but uh, it's, a, it's a possession movie, so, you know, I kind of already know what to expect going into this one, but we'll see how it is, so hopefully it'll be good. And uh, this one here, actually, hang on a second, see if I can get that sticker off, it's kind of really blocking up the whole thing, sorry about that, but hang on, do-do-do-do-do, I promise I'm getting there. Anyway, 
So yeah, so the next one is the Soska sisters dead hooker in a trunk. So uh yeah, I've never seen this movie before. I do I do like some of the Soska sisters stuff, but I got to be honest, I'm really not interested in a remake of Rabbit, but uh American Mary, that movie's fantastic. I love that. And uh this is more one of their more original movies, so I kind of like to see more of their original work and I'm not, like I said, I'm just not really too excited about the idea of them going and doing a whole bunch of uh, remakes of Cronenberg movies. But so this one here I saw for a good cheap price. So I was like, yeah, I'll go ahead and pick that up. Anyway, so dead hooker in a trunk. So we'll see if that's any good or not. So anyway, as yeah, also too, this is a horror pack exclusive. So yeah, it's pretty hard to get your hands on that one. But yeah, I was lucky to do that. That's the thing I like. I like when some of these. People around here, you know, it's like they just they don't care about the horror pack stuff. They just get rid of all that. So, yeah, you end up getting some of these horror pack Blu-rays. They're just exclusives to horror pack. You end up getting quite a few of those for good dirt cheap prices. And the last here for the Blu-rays. Um, I think you've heard me say before in other videos, I really need to beef up my horror Christmas collection. And, uh, yeah, I came across this. I just had to go ahead and jump on it. And why not? <laughs> Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2. I already have the first one. I don't have the Screen Factory edition of it, but I do have the first one on a on a double pack with uh, uh, the remake, Silent Night. So it's a Anchor Bay two-pack, but uh, I have the first movie. I just, you know, didn't have this one. I don't have three, four, or five. Uh, but uh, yeah, this movie here, it's, it's something else. So uh, I might review this next week. I don't know, but uh, I just, yeah. This movie, it's insane, but it's kind of interesting at the same time, too. So, But uh, anyway, we all remember classic Garbage Day. So everybody remembers that who's seen this movie. So anyway, okay, so that's it for the Blu-rays. We'll go ahead and there we go. That's what we got for the Blu-rays. All right. Go ahead and do this now because the DVDs are going to take a few minutes. Okay, so we got the... Non-horror, oh, sorry, got the non-horror DVDs here. Go. Okay. And we got the one 4K. So, okay, so we're caught up to speed on those. Now it's time to do the horror DVDs. And, uh, yeah, I found a nice little stack of them. So, like I said, good old... Good old Zia Records coming through in the clutch. So anyway, so here we go. We got Murder.com. Haven't seen it. Don't know what it's about. It sounds interesting. When dating turns deadly. And one dollar. So happy to get this. And uh, oh, it's got Alexander Paul from Christine. Nice. Okay, Robin Lively. Okay, so we'll see. Hopefully that'll be good. I got that one. This one, I actually, I didn't get this one from Zia. I found this at a at a pawn shop, and I only paid 54 cents for it. And we got Rise of the Dead. I'm just assuming it's a zombie movie. So other than that, I don't know anything about it. I haven't seen it, so I couldn't tell you. So Rise of the Dead. So hopefully that'll be good. So, yeah. The Frightening Zombie Thriller. So we'll see, hopefully. Anyway, there's that. And we got Elizabeth Harnoy. All right. Oh, Val Kilmer, Deora Baird, and William Sadler in Riddle. Some secrets never die. Again, got it for a dollar. It sounds interesting. So, yeah. Or I give this a look, see, see if it's any good or not. So, you know my policy. I check it out. If it's great, I'll keep it. If it sucks, I'll turn around and get something else for it. So there we go. So next up, we've got Bram Stoker's Way of the Vampire. This one was $1.99. But anyway, so I'm expecting this is going to be kind of like a something of a blade knockoff. That's kind of what it looks like. So from the talented group of the Asylum. So I kid, but you know, Asylum, they can be hit or miss. Some of their movies are actually pretty decent. Some of them suck. But uh, yeah, I just figured I'll go ahead and check this out, see if it's any good or not. We'll see. Oh, this one I know is going to be a trip. So we have Spring Break Shark Attack. Killer Sharks. And for a dollar. So 
<laughs> oh boy. So yeah, we'll see if this one's gonna be any good. Oh lordy lordy. So anyway. Fun cheesy killer shark movies. This came out from Paramount of all places. I'm down. So all right. Spring break shark attack. We'll see if that's any good or not. Okay, this one here sounds more on the naughty side. We got Midnight Kiss. A kiss to die for. So obviously vampires. So yeah. Michelle Owens, Gary A Gregory A. Greer. We'll see. You like you know, you like a little eroticism to your vampire movies. This will probably be good for that. So also too, this one's brand new, never been opened, so can't pass on that. Not bad. So we'll see if it's any good or not. So. And the next one we got here is Tell Me How I Die. It sounds like it's going to be pretty good, too. So. Kind of cool suspense thriller. So. We'll see. I figure, you know, for that price, why not? Check it out. So hopefully it'll be good. Anyway, so there's that. Okay, come here, you. All right, next up we have My Little Eye. Fear is not knowing, terror is finding out. So, curious about this one. You know, when it says here, spine tingling, nerve shredding, soul chilling terror. Yeah, it's like for a dollar, I'll check it out. So, we'll see what that's all about. So. Anyway. So, yeah. I got that. Okay, this one here. I, all right. I bought this one, and the second one turns out I've already got the second one. I need the third one, but I got Cube. So this is the signature edition of it. Ooh. Um. Yeah, I found this for pretty much next to nothing, and uh, like I said, I've got the second one. I just need Cube Zero. That's the only one I'm missing, and I have all three of them. So anyway, yeah, I've seen this movie before. It's a pretty good movie. I liked it. Anyway, yeah, I do like Cube. It's a pretty good flick. So glad to finally get that. This one here, it says it's all region. I hope that they're not lying to me, but uh, we'll find out. We got uh, Tim Daly and Kelly Preston in Spellbinder. I seem to remember watching this movie. And uh, I don't remember exactly too much about it, but but it says here it's supposed to, it says here it's supposed to be, you know, for all regions. Hopefully I can watch it. It's not going to be a problem. Anyway, though, I remember watching this movie years ago, though. I just don't remember it. So, anyway, there's that. And we have Stephen Baldwin. That right there lets you know it's going to be scary enough. But we got Stephen Baldwin in Snake Man. So, yeah, you can tell this is going to be a real, oh, well, this is going to be a real classic. But, uh, you know, hey, if it's cheesy fun, why not? So. There you go. Snake Man. So anyway. Oh, I figure I'd, I guess it's about a guy who gets bitten by a snake and turns into one, I guess. I don't know. So. All right, next up, we got uh, Ali Sheedy, Patsy Kinsick, and Stephen Baldwin again, and Chris Penn in Shelter Island. Ooh. You know, you got the knife there and everything. Okay, that's that's interesting enough. So, from Showtime. So, tells you those movies old if uh, Chris Penn was in it because he, you know, he passed away a few years ago. So, anyway, Ali Sheedy from The Breakfast Club and yeah, Patsy Kensett. She's always been a, she's always been a cutie. So. Anyway, so, Shelter Island, see what that's all about. Three more to go. This was one I thought I had, but it turns out I didn't have it. So, yeah, for a dollar, I went in and grabbed this. We have Shapeshifter. So, uh, to feed on flesh, Shapeshifter. I said, this is something I felt like I thought I already had this. It turns out I don't. Another one from our good friends at the asylum. So, I don't know. Wait and see if it's any good or not. It could be good. It could be bad. So, we'll see. Anyway, so yeah, for a dollar, I'll check it out. 
Okay, this one I've heard of. I've just never seen it. It's uh, Ring Around the Rosie. So, I think I remember seeing the trailer for this one. I just haven't seen the movie yet. But, uh, yeah, I heard this one's supposed to be pretty good. So, it's rated R, so at least there's that. Dare to face your worst fears. So, just so you know. A ring around the rosy. And last but not least, I was really glad to get this because as far as I know, I think this is out of print now. And uh, I know there's a rated edition and there's an unrated. I was lucky enough to get the unrated edition. Finally adding to my collection 2001 Maniacs, Field of Screams. This time with Bill Mosley instead of um, Robert England. Which, you know, I have the first one. I have 2001 Maniacs. I have it on Blu-ray. And, uh, but I didn't have this one. So I was like, yeah, finally glad to get my hands on this. And, you know, you got Bill Mosley. You got Lynn Shea. So, yeah. You know, I've seen this movie. It's fun. It's it's uh, pretty gory. It's pretty graphic. So, yeah, a bit of fun to watch. So I enjoyed it. But like I said, you know, it's like I had the first one. I really wanted to make sure I got the second one. And I don't know. I think it's supposed to be out of print now. So that's why I was finally happy to grab this one. So, so anyway, so that's going to do it for the movies. For the horror DVDs, anyway. So, there's those. And we have these. And to finish it up, we have these. And there we go. All right. So, yeah, pretty nice little haul this time, I would say, huh? All right, now for the moment everybody's been waiting for the winners of the uh, the winners of the movie digital codes for this week. And uh, like I said, um, you know, if you want to win for next week, Hateful Eight or uh, Fantastic Four, leave a comment. In the, you know, leave a comment in the link down below. So anyway, so yeah, for the uh, for a quiet place, the winner for that is going to be the Dark Knight Jimmy. Okay, so the Dark Knight Jimmy. If you watch this video. You need to let me know in the comments section. I need you to give me like a broken up uh, uh, email address so that I can send you your code. So that way you can win your free movie. So <clears throat> anyway, congratulations to the Dark Knight Jimmy for winning A Quiet Place. And uh, for the winner of Interstellar, we have Dog Kid. Okay, Dog Kid, you won Interstellar. And uh, let me know in the comments down below if uh, you want me to use the same um email address or do you have another one you prefer me to send it to but uh, yeah i believe i should still have your old email address so so anyway so congratulations to tonight's winners um the dark knight jimmy for a quiet place and uh dog kid for interstellar and uh that's uh, pretty much gonna do it so yeah so if anybody took the time to watch this video i thank you all for doing it i appreciate you for doing it i also hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like and subscribe there'll be weekly videos posted um, until then, everybody take care and have a good night. This is the Nightwalker, and I'll see you out and about. Bye-bye.